have here is one of uh, 100 uh, fuel cell powered Chevrolet Equinox vehicles, which is part of General Motors Project Driveway Initiative, where we built 100 vehicles for the purpose of getting this technology in the hands of the average consumer so that they can give us some early feedback in terms of what this technology is all about. This vehicle does not contain an internal combustion engine, does not contain a mechanical transmission. This vehicle is, has an, uh, an electric motor. The electric motor gets its electricity from a fuel cell. The fuel cell is fundamentally uh, a battery on demand. If you provide hydrogen and oxygen to a fuel cell, it will create electricity. And that electricity is what drives the electric motor, the byproduct being water, and so there are no emissions. So this truly is an all-electric vehicle with no emissions. And that's what we're here to show you. So I'll kind of uh, show you a little bit of what the technology looks like under the hood. combustion engine, no transmission, an electric motor, and fuel cell. This fuel cell is a General Motors fuel cell. It produces 94 kilowatts worth of electricity, and that electricity would be enough to power 10 homes if you were to, uh, to hook it up to the grid as an example. This vehicle uh, has the same driving attributes as our gasoline-powered uh, Chevrolet Equinox. It uh, will do 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in about uh, 12 seconds. And there's enough hydrogen on board this vehicle to go 320 kilometers. And again, with uh, the only emissions being water vapor. You, this vehicle has been engineered to uh, meet all the, the safety standards of uh, any traditional vehicle. And so this vehicle is, is truly roadworthy. This has been designed and tested to, to meet uh, safety requirements and durability requirements. And we still keep all the traditional features on the vehicle, so working. Airbags, OnStar, uh, traction control, ABS, uh, all the other things that you've gone, uh, you, know, you would expect in a, in, a, in a normal vehicle, in a traditional vehicle. But again, no internal combustion engine. I can show you the where we fill the vehicle. So we carry hydrogen on board this vehicle in three cylinders that ha are mounted above the rear suspension below the load floor. Uh, hydrogen filling stations, uh, uh, our hydrogen infrastructure is one of the challenges, is where is there hydrogen? And there is hydrogen available. It's as simple as hooking up a mechanical connection and putting about four kilograms worth of hydrogen on board this vehicle. Most four kilograms of hydrogen will get you about 320 kilometers worth of range. We're able to put those cylinders in this vehicle in such a way as to not fundamentally take away from the usable space of this vehicle. So this is still a, a full, full four-passenger vehicle with a full down rear seat, and the only space that we really occupied is this bump here. So as indicated, the only byproduct on this vehicle is water vapor, and so water vapor will come out of the, the back of this vehicle. Truly a zero emissions, petroleum free.